www.rochelle.com. Hi guys and welcome back to my Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to show you three ways to export your Logic Pro X project. To compress your Logic Pro X file, all you need to do is right click onto the project, select compress, and then the file will start to zip. Once your file is zipped, if you unzip it by clicking on it, it would then open up your Logic Pro X project. So if you send this to a producer to uh, review your track or even to mix your track or add some instruments or, or vocals to your track, this is the best way to send it if they use Logic Pro X. You can upload this to a Google Drive if the file is too big. If the file is small, you can send it via email. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to export a Logic Pro X project as an MP3. All you need to do is select the track, use a cycle mode, just to select the region that you would like to export as an MP3. Then go to File, Bounce, and then select Project or Section. Here you can make all the amendments you like. So here I selected WAV format, 24 bit. And as you can see, I've already ticked the box to say add to my iTunes. I've also included the audio trail, so all, sorry, tell, so all the effects will also transfer over onto the MP3. Select OK. And then you can save your file and rename it if you'd like. And then you can select bounce. And this will bounce down your project as an MP3. You can now listen to your track on your way to work or um, in, whilst you're in the gym. And you can listen to it just to um, perhaps come up with some other ideas or just to be excited about the creation you've made. So here, if I click on the track that I saved on my desktop, you'll see that it appears in my iTunes and it is now an MP3 track. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to export your Logic Pro X project as audio files. So go to export and select all tracks as audio files. And here you can create a new folder, name the folder where you'd like to place your audio tracks. And then you can select a name if you want to, or leave as seven tracks to be bounced Then select limit export to cycle range because I've done that there you can see the bit depth I've got is 16 but you can select other bits such as 24 or 32 and then I have a left the bypass effect plugin turned off therefore if I export these tracks and I wanted a producer to mix it they won't hear the effects and they have the freedom to make the track sound how they want then press save The track is now exporting as audio files and is now in the folder where I've saved it, the seven audio files. So if I send this now to a producer, the producer can import the audio files into any software that they're using and make the relevant mix or editing that you require. So there you have it. If you have any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment. If this is the first time you're tuning into my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to head over to my website for more information about Logic Pro X tutorials and lots more.